everyone in this video i will show you how to add foundation double crochet to an existing double crochet row here we have our row started already and we need an opening here so instead of making chains that are not very stretchy and we need some stretch here i would prefer to add foundation stitches so to start here we will start how we do foundation double crochet yarn over and insert your hook in the same stitch where your last stitch ended right here yarn over pull a loop now yarn over and pull through one loop like you would for foundation double crochet here this is our chain chain made now we have three loops on hook and on hook and we finishing up like double crochet usual way pull through two loops and pull two loops again so now we have our first foundation double crochet here this is the chain this is the stitch and to continue now we yarn over and we insert hook under these two loops in this this is our chain in this chain yarn over pull up a loop now yarn over pull through one loop which will make next chain yarn over and finish double crochet in a normal way and for the next stitches as many as you need for the opening yarn over insert your hook in this on the bottom of this foundation stitches see there's chains under these two loops yarn over pull through yarn over pull through one loop to create a chain and yarn over and finish off double crochet through two loops and through two loops again for now we have three foundation double crochet and let's say we need 10 or as many as you need for the pattern Make sure you insert hook under these two loops. And continue for as long as you need. Now that we have a desired amount of stitches, foundation stitches created, in this case it was 10, uh, we need to skip the same amount on this side. And we have to connect these uh, two pieces together and continue with our double crochet row. For that, we yarn over. We have to connect it at the bottom too. So we insert a hook first under these two loops as we did before. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we insert a hook right where our next. Uh, stitch should be in this case it's here we skip 10 stitches yarn over and pull through both loops through this stitch and this loop here now we have 
three loops on the hook and we'll create our double crochet go through two loops and go through two loops now this piece is all connected and we continue with our double crochet row as normal and we have our opening created it's connected here and here and both sides are stretchy enough Thank you for watching.